Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy and I'm so glad you're here. Today we are looking at the 1010 portal. We're smack in the middle of the 1010 portal right now as we speak. And we're still in this beautiful energy of the full moon yesterday. Do you know what magic is in the air for you, Pisces? Let's take a look. Okay, now this is for the, the zodiac sign of Pisces in the placement of sun, moon, and rising. And if you want to check out any of your other placements, you might get a bigger picture of what's going on for you and what's available for you in this portal. So what we want to take a look at is the energies that we want to leave behind as we walk into this portal. So Spirit, what does Pisces need to leave behind today as we walk into this portal of the 1010 magic? There is a lot going on in the air today, Pisces. Can you feel it? You probably feel it more than anyone else in the Zodiac because you are the most intuitive. What does Pisces need to leave behind in this portal, Spirit? Envy. Pisces, are you dealing with somebody who's envious of you? Or are you envious of somebody else? Maybe you've been in this energy of, um, see how this woman is in this dark place and she's looking out the doorway and it's all golden out there. Maybe you've been in this energy of stagnation in your life where you just want something to go right, but you've been in this time of, I just feel this time of challenge and struggle and kind of dark energy where you're just not feeling good and it's got you down. You're not feeling good, maybe in your health, maybe in your finances, maybe in your life in general. You've just been in this stuck place that feels really dark and it's made you maybe question yourself. And you're looking at other people succeeding and you're like, why is this happening to me and I see everybody else succeeding? Why not me? What's, what's going on with me? Or you could be dealing with somebody who's feeling that way about you and you might need to cut ties. Spirit, what else do you have for Pisces? What is this story unfolding that they need to leave behind? How can we help them? Door to spirit. What is the energy that Pisces needs to leave behind? I need some more cards, Spirit, please. Thank you. Oh, healing. Maybe you've been in a time where you just haven't been feeling good. You've been had some health issues, something going on. And they have maybe had you in a time of having to spend time by yourself to maybe realign with your divine spiritual team, whatever that means to you, God, the universe, spirit, source, angels. Maybe you've been wondering why all this negative stuff's been happening to you and everybody else seems to be doing so well, but it could be because you've been going through a spiritual awakening. You, this is your portal right here. Right now, since your full moon last month, the energies have been very, very strong and you've probably been very, very connected because the veil between the worlds right now, Pisces, is thin as you probably know. And we are more sensitive to our psychic abilities and to our uh, intuitive hits and downloads and to what spirit has been telling us. Your door has probably been open since your full moon last month and you've probably been going through this spiritual awakening you might have it might have manifested to you in form of in your health challenges in your health and you've been surrounded by this archangel Raphael who has been here to help you help you through this time I also see on this door to spirit card the number 32 is a five that is a time of challenge you have been overcoming some really, really great challenges. And it may have been for a while and you may have been wondering, why me? Why me? Well, it looks like your door is opening to some really good energy there. Let's see what else they wanna show us. But you know what? 
if you have been challenged in your health, Archangel Raphael comes with this beautiful green light. Imagine that green light just flooding your body with health and wholeness and light. And imagine that he is healing you because that's what he does. He is God's healer. He's, that's, that's what his, his name means, God's healer. And he is a number 11, which is, as we know, a very spiritual number. Let's see what else Spirit wants to show you. What, is, what else is going on with Pisces that you can help me to expand on this for them? Door to value. You might have been stuck in your business, stuck in your own self. Because I see this two ways, Pisces. When this card comes out, I see this two ways. This is a financial card. You have two doors here, 31 and 32. That shows me that you are you have progress here. Whether it feels like it or not, you have forward movement. You have progress. 20, uh, 31 and 32, that's progress, forward movement. But you also have two doors here. This is the door to your intuition, to your spirit, to your ancestors to your spirit guides to your your connection to spirit your psychic abilities your intuition this is a the door to abundance you might have been maybe you have a business that's been stalled out too maybe you've just been in this energy that i just feel this dark energy like just really nothing going right and you just have not understood why you're asking why I think it's a spiritual upgrade is what you are going through. And of course, it manifests in some dark energy sometimes that we don't understand, you know, Pisces. But it can also be in your abundance too. And so I want to tell you, Pisces, that if you've been stalled in your finances, if you've been waiting for something to move forward, or if you've been really tight and stressed about your finances, you do have forward movement here. This is, you want to let go of the energy, this old energy of thinking that there's something wrong with you or thinking that you don't, you're not worthy. You may not be worthy, but you know, people on the other side are somehow more worthy than you. You have a lot of healing here and you have spirit who is really, really highlighting how very special you are. And this time that you've been going through is because you're so special. But I also see this card. You have abundance on the other side of this door. This is the 1010 portal right now. You have abundance on that other side of that door. You have all this great energy and you have this archangel that's with you. You're worthy. You are absolutely worthy. So what I was gonna say is this card for me always also tells me that you might be working on your value. You might be learning that you are more worthy than you think. You, There is nothing wrong with you. You are more valuable than you might believe. You might believe you're not because you've been in this energy. But you are, you are valuable. So leave behind in this portal today, leave behind any oof, indecision. Dark, another dark energy and uh, leave behind anything that would tell you in your mind that you are not worthy because you have two portal cards right here abundance value and a very 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 big spiritual connection you might be starting a spiritual business or something and that could be why you have had to go through some kind of you know really challenging time to become who you needed to be in order to make it go forward. A lot of healing in your heart to find your value and your worth and maybe your true calling. If there's something in your heart, Pisces, I see this green on this card and for me that's always the heart chakra. So if there's something in your heart, Pisces, that you've been feeling to do, it's probably your soul purpose or connected to your soul purpose and that could be why you've been going through this energy right now you're coming into a lot of abundance though let's see let's ask the tarot what 
does Pisces need to know about what's coming for them? The king of earth. This is a lot of money. As I was just saying, abundance. Here's your abundance. What else, spirit? What else is coming to Pisces in this portal? What can they expect? What's coming towards them? The tower, sudden change. There's sudden change coming from all this. There's sudden change. You're coming out of it suddenly and unexpectedly into abundance, into stability. This could be somebody coming towards you too, but I feel like this is you moving forward unexpectedly. You're probably in this energy of just completely stuck and feeling like nothing's ever going to change, but you got all this spiritual energy here. You're finding your value and your work worth and the tower is sudden unexpected forward movement what else is ah the nine of fire what else is happening from the pisces two of air three of air see that for me is progress too two of air Three of air, you've been in your head. You've been in your head, Pisces. You've been really in your head. Having a tough decision, not knowing what to do because you're just in your head, focusing on maybe the negatives. The three of air is healing energy. That's You've needed to go through a lot of healing. You've probably had some stabs to your heart in the past and you've had to go through a lot of healing you've you've really had to come into your own and you're you've been going back and forth trying to figure out what to do this is like um that indecision card that was right here you're two of air that's an indecision it's kind of a stall because you don't know which way to go you're still healing you're still healing but the two of these together Two plus three is five of air. That's you being in your head. That's kind of some conflict in your mind, some thoughts that are trying to tell you that you're not worth, you're not worthy somehow, but people on this side are somehow. So they're saying, leave all that, leave all that Pisces today because you have the nine of fire here. This is somebody who stands up for, for what's true in their heart. And you might have had to take this time out for a spiritual up leveling of some kind to find that star and that light that's on the inside of you. This is all about, this is a wounded warrior card, this nine of fire. She's a wounded warrior. She's been hurt a lot. These are her strings of hurts, right? But in those hurts, she's found that she has something great inside of her that star there's a light inside of you and they're telling you step through this portal today release this energy of being in your head and envy because you have sudden change here you found your little star and you found your worth and your value that's what the star means you found your value, you found your worth. This is somebody who knows what they want, what they will not put up with anymore, and they're willing to open their heart to what's new. For you, what is new is right here. You have stability. You have dedication to something. This is this energy here, the king of earth, this is somebody who everything they touch turns to gold. This is you. You have this energy coming towards you. Step through the portal to receive this energy. This is you succeeding. This is you succeeding beyond anything you've ever done before. This is you being on this side of that portal in the golden energy there where others are going to look at you and go, wow, how did they do that? Well, because the universe came through and made a sudden change and everything changed 
from this energy to this energy right here. Let's get some more cards, Pisces. What else can Pisces expect in this portal? This is really beautiful energy. I love that King of Earth. That's somebody who's dedicated, who is solid and stable, very stable, very peaceful, very grounded, and a lot of money. As I said that, you got two more money cards here, Pisces. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for this message for Pisces. You have the Four of Earth and the Six of Earth. Do you know what the first thing is that I notice about these cards? Four plus six is ten. You got abundance. Not only do you have this King of Earth, which is success and abundance, wealth, everything you touch turning to gold. Look, everything you touch turning to gold. You're on the other side now. Step through this portal and go to the other side, Pisces, because that's what is your destiny. The other side, right here, the golden side. Go through that door today because you have the Ten of Pentacles right here. The Ten of Pentacles is fortune going your way, is money coming to you after a time of being in this energy. Because of this tower, something is changing. Now, whether that is, both of these cards mean a gift from this, the universe, both of them. There's a special gift of an unexpected windfall of money coming to you. This is unexpected. Unexpected change that's bringing you a windfall of success and money. The Four of Earth is a gift, an unexpected windfall from spirit that changes your financial situation from holding on tightly and scared to spend any money to having more than enough. And then you have the six of earth, which is also a gift from the spirit, gift from the universe, a gift in abundance, but it is having more than you need. This is more than enough. Going from a period of struggling and get, struggling to get anything to move, wondering why this is happening to you, to a sudden change that brings you more than enough. This is what you've gone through this period for, Pisces. Own it. Own it. It is yours on the other side of this portal. Own it, Pisces. Own it. Tell yourself, I'm not in this energy anymore. That's the old me. I'm stepping through the portal and I'm stepping into the gold. The gold. <laughs> Pisces, let's get some uh, advice for Pisces today. Thank you, Spirit, for this message for Pisces. I hope it resonated for as many Pisces out there as possible that have been going through a hard time. Your answer is yes, Pisces. Yes. The answer is yes. That golden opportunity for you right there is yes. What else, Spirit? What else for my Pisces? Thank you. Clear communication. Whoa. Clear communication. Communicate clearly to the universe of what you want to create because it's here for you. Plus clear communication and clarity coming to you also. And recovery. On the bottom of the deck, we have recovery. Archangel Raphael is right here helping you to recover from this setback. Recovery from setback into everything turning to gold. Pisces, what a beautiful energy. Receive it. Receive it and step through this 1010 portal, okay? Thank you so much for being here, Pisces. Watch your other, your other placements for a bigger picture of what might be going on for you with this portal. Receive this recovery. 
in every way in your health and in your finances. Receive it. And I will see you next time. If you want to book a private reading with me, Pisces, that information is below. Just email me and we'll go from there. And thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I appreciate it all. I look forward to your next reading, Pisces. Have a really good portal day. It looks really good to me.